We all love nostalgia, but do you think you could be addicted to it? Let's go. You're going on a journey. A journey through memory. All you have to do is follow my voice. So Reminiscence, this movie could fall into a different category of genres in my opinion. It's definitely a drama, but in my opinion, it's more of a romantic mystery with some action scenes. I guess you could call it an action thriller as well. So you have Hugh Jackman who meets this woman who's played by Rebecca Ferguson. And before I go any further, you might've recognized both of these two in The Greatest Showman, which I'm a huge fan of. I thought they had great chemistry in that movie. And in this movie, I would say they still do have some chemistry, but it kind of falls off in my opinion. So pretty much they meet each other but then I don't know where she kind of disappears. But within the time that they have met each other and got to know one another, they do fall in love. But once she disappears, he goes looking after her because I mean, who just disappears out of nowhere? So that's kind of where the romance and mystery side of the story falls into place. But the main part of this story, which is essential, is this technology that they use to go back in time in a way through your memories to relive it. The reminiscence is pretty cool because it's the technology that actually uses holograms to relive your deepest memories. This movie reminded me a little bit of Inception and Avatar. Inception because how they kind of go into the mind and see your dreams and your memories. All right, look, right now they're all trapped in a dream. We need to go in and put them under so they can go into a dream within a dream. And then Avatar where you use this technology that connects to your brain and then your memories get transformed into this whole other world where you're not physically there but mentally you feel like you really are there. So Hugh Jackman he has a business and his business is nostalgia. He uses the reminiscence as a technology where paying customers actually go to relive those moments. Since they live in this new world that's a wasteland and everyone's poor and depressed and the future doesn't look bright at all everyone looks to go backwards to the relive the good times. They show a few characters briefly, but then we forget why they were there and what was the point in them. Now this technology was awesome. It was very cool how they used it for the business, but later in the movie they use this for the detective world to solve crimes. If you watch this trailer and see how this movie opens, it's so cool how they created this post-apocalyptic world. The movie is mostly set in Miami, but it was just so cool to see the skyline that was mostly flooded. I'm not gonna lie, after seeing what New York been through recently, it kinda was something like that. They kept taking these little fishing boats from place to place and in my mind I'm like hold up a second where are the jet skis if you saw a jet ski in the movie let me know I might have missed it but I just think that would be more convenient to use apparently some war broke out and I was confused by that not sure if the flooding came before or after the war at first I thought the flooding was cool because you couldn't drive throughout the city everyone took these little boats to get from one place to the other and I thought the water was a character at first but by the end of the movie I'm like wait a second the water didn't do anything it was just there I mean, this 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 could have been anything. It could have been a, a war zone. It could have been a desert. Other than that, I thought the visuals were cool. I thought the lighting in the movie was good throughout. And it makes you wonder what life would be like if you had to live in a city like that that was half flooded. I thought the acting was fine in general. The story just felt very slow and boring. I'm not gonna lie, the love intimacy was very hot at first between these two characters. But then for me, out of nowhere, it just kind of went away. And obviously she disappeared, but... I think it might have just been lack of screen time together of while they were together. Because in my opinion, I just can't see why he wanted to find her so bad I didn't realize he loved her that much. I guess their time together just felt a little rushed. I thought the assistant in the movie did a great job, but this actress does a great job in anything she's in. So special shout outs to Thandry Newton. You've probably seen her before in a few things. As much as I didn't care for the action scenes, I do have to give credit to where it's due. The fighting choreography looked very real. I was this close to giving this movie trash until I saw the very ending. The ending kind of gave me a hope of what this movie could have been. Not sure if I saw this type of storyline in another movie but it was just very sweet of how they tied it all together but the way the movie ended i think it would just been better if it was strictly a romance and not really an action thriller some of the action just felt a little unnecessary at times overall i thought this movie in general was just okay it was chill and I oh. if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button and if you want to see more just subscribe if you want notifications for new uploads hit that bell icon also, if you could share this video with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.